Hi, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV. We are here live with our repeat guest, Jeff Barber, VP of Global Data Centers at Bloom Energy. Uh, we are here live from DCD, Virginia in Leesburg, just outside of Washington, DC. We are covering all the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the digital infrastructure sector. So of course we have to bring Jeff on as a leader within the industry. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, to talk a little bit about what's going on at Bloom Energy. Mm -hmm. So we'll dive right in. So uh, can you talk a little bit, Jeff, about how Bloom Energy's on-site power solution ensures the high availability that all data centers are demanding right now? or in general. <laughs> Absolutely. First and foremost, I'm going to say that everybody on the on this broadcast might see me shivering because I'm right under the <laughs> literally the coldest vent in the world. It's and freezing. Yes. No, <laughs> always my favorite part of every conference is my JSA TV time. Oh. Uh, how does Bloom Energy provide reliability? So Bloom Energy is we've defined before. It's on site microgrid power um, fuel cells. We derive hydrogen typically from natural gas, but we can also use hydrogen. The thing about Bloom is each module at 65 kilowatts is completely independent. What that means is in the event of a failure or in the event of maintenance, it's all concurrently maintainable. But if we do take one down, your blast radius, as I like to say, is only 65 kilowatts mm -hmm. in a 50 megawatt or 100 megawatt facility. You'll never see that because we'll ramp up the other boxes as well. Also, you know, typically in the data center world, when we want full resiliency, we deploy 2N or at least N plus one. With Bloom, because every module is independent, all installed on, on common busways, multiple busways into the building, we can add a very, very small percentage of additional boxes to guarantee you five nines of availability, right? When I say guarantee, I mean, you know, we guarantee it. And so that's incredibly unique. You won't get that from any utility. And remember, Bloom is base load power. We're not backup power. We're not a battery. We're base load power. So if you look at the you know utilities compared to Bloom, or you look at other sources like combustion compared to Bloom, mm -hmm. it's our incredible redundancy that's built into the system that gives us that resiliency. Excellent, excellent. Um, and then also we want to talk a little bit about as GPUs consume more power, what are the benefits of using Bloom Microgrid um, for performance, reliability, sustainability mm -hmm. in data centers? That's a big question. That's a good. That's a good question. Thank you for saying Bloom microgrids because they're not all created the same. Um, yes. Yeah, so Bloom has been deploying microgrids for over a decade now. We define a microgrid as something that can operate um, independent of the utility, even if we're connected to the utility. Um, Bloom offers, of course, islanded microgrids, zero utility, what we'd call you know just a microgrid, which is a utility connection. The reason I say we've been doing that for over a decade now, when we deploy microgrids, we deploy ultra capacitors, and if needed, super capacitors. So if I look at a GPU workload, I should say machine learning workload, um, that oscillates tremendously, many mm -hmm. spikes up and down in a matter of seconds or minutes. Uh, Bloom has a massive amount of capacitance or energy storage between the fuel cell and the building. So we're actually able to respond to those oscillations better than utility. That's not, that's not something a lot of the market knows about, right? And obviously because we deploy in increments of 70 or 65 kilowatts, and there is no limit to the upper side. They're each individual modules. You, we can scale to any amount. So as we see 100 kilowatt racks, 200 kilowatt racks, which I don't know how you're going to cool, but they'll figure it out. There's smart people working on it. Bloom can provide all that power with supercapacitors in front of us to respond instantly to any, any GPU workload. Incredible. Excellent. Yeah, we've made a lot of progress. This is all kind of not brand new stuff, the 10 year thing, we've been doing ultra capacitors for a long time, but the ability to demonstrate GPU workloads with Bloom is is fairly new. So yeah. looking forward to talking more about that. Yeah. The next, so the next JSA the TV. Next JSA yeah, TV the next JSA TV with Jeff Barber, uh, <laughs> which will be coming to you shortly from a data center event near you. Yes. Um, but as for right now, we are at DCD Virginia, not even wrapping up yet. We've still got a full, it's only full day afternoon. Two. Yeah. Full afternoon it's ahead. Only day two. Yeah. One, one thing I noticed about Virginia, there's a lot of data centers here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's, it's incredible and they have power problems, but there's a lot of, there's a great show. Yeah. Great I mean, venue, we're so show. close to Ashburn data center alley right now. Yes. We're just sitting minutes away from it. Yeah. So I could almost walk there. Yeah. yeah. It's right down the street. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So couldn't be a better place for us to be having all of these discussions about mm -hmm. data center power, energy. Uh, so thank you as always for joining yeah. us on JSA yeah. TV and thank you viewers for hanging out with us live from DCD, Virginia. Happy networking everyone. See ya. <laughs>